I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Pedro Helbron. He is CEO at Copa Holdings and Copa Airlines. Pedro, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here, Judy. Great to be back. Thank you. Yes, be back. So the last time you were here, 2018, we were just chatting about that. That's when you were at the NYC for Investor Day. Yeah. Um, and now you are here for your Investor Day, back at the New York Stock Exchange, first Investor Day since the pandemic. Um, tell me, how has COPA recovered in the past few years since COVID? Right, well, it was very rough at first since we were shut down for over five months. So we had to come back from like zero. Uh, and, and I would say that, that the positive thing is that step by step, we recuperated our, our fleet, our network, uh, the works, and every quarter was slightly better than the previous quarter. So the second half of 2022 was already above 2019 levels. And this year is off to a very strong start. We reported a strong first quarter and we will be above 2019 in t during 2023 in terms of flights, passengers and revenues. Okay. Yeah. So now, Pedro, we know that there have been challenges in the aviation industry and there's definitely fierce com um, competition in right. the Latam region. Um, tell me, how have you adapted your business strategies in response to these challenges? Right. So I would say two things. On, on the one side, we have become more efficient, more productive, more cost efficient, more lean. We had to at first because we did not know what was going to happen after, after we were able to fly again and, and how long it was going to take for passengers to come back to the airs. It, it, it took less time than what, what anyone expected, so that's a positive. But in any case, we became a leaner and, and let's say more fit airline. But at the same time, we are, we're betting on the same business model that worked before. So we are leveraging on, on our strengths, not trying to invent anything new. And it means the best on time performance, the strongest network for intra Latin America, intra America travel, and just the corporate culture, the people culture, the passenger service. So we're betting on those strengths, which is what brought us here in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about your plans to expand the airline's fleet. Do you have any new aircraft orders? Yeah, actually in, in the last year and a half or so, uh, we added 15 aircraft to our Boeing order, our order for Boeing 737 MAX aircraft. So we right now still have 60, something like 63 aircraft that we will take delivery of in the next five years. So that's a little bit over 12 aircraft per year. And this is of an original order that was 61 in 2015. It became 86. We have received already 23 of those aircraft. So we're, we'll be getting around 12 aircraft uh, per year, and we hope to grow the network with a new fleet. Wow, okay. Yeah. So now tell me more about your network expansion plans right. and new market opportunities, especially in the US. Right. Well, mm -hmm. since the pandemic, uh, interesting enough, we open about eight or nine new routes in Latin America and in the US. And it's interesting because we thought it was going to take a lot longer for new routes to be viable. Uh, last year, we opened in the US, we started flights to Atlanta. And now at the end of June, we're going to be flying to Baltimore, Baltimore, Washington. And in July, we'll start flights to Austin, Texas. And that's going to be a total of about 14 U.S. cities will be serving from our hub of the Americas in Panama. All right. Well, it sounds like I need to book a flight. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Same here. It's been great. Thanks. <laughs>